Hey everyone, welcome to part 5 of our story app and this is gonna be I hope the last part of this series and in this video we'll go ahead and implement the splash screen and we'll also implement the random story menu item here so that whenever we click on this random story it's going to load the random story to the user okay so let's go ahead and implement the splash screen first so to implement the splash screen we need to create new activity so I'm gonna go here create new activity and create the empty activity right now I will give the splash as the name for this SPL splash okay now this screen is simply going to contain the uh, splash screen image and the uh, progress bar so here let me close this we don't need other thing here okay now what this is going to contain is a image so I'm gonna add one image I'm gonna copy the image that we need okay I'm gonna go here and paste it to the drawable folder and now I'll state the background okay so this is the splice screen I want to use and I will add the progress bar so go to wizard add progress bar here and fix the constant okay I'll add the text view for the app name now we will set this as our launcher activity so let's go to the Android manifest currently our activity main is the launcher activity so I want to change that and add this intent filter to our splash activity so let me go here and paste that okay now let's see what happens if I run this application now so our application is running and now you can see that splash screen is displayed but it is stock here so what I want to do is after a few seconds I want to send user to the main activity and I also want to hide this uh, toolbar here so to hide the toolbar we can just simply apply this same theme that we have applied to our main activity to our splash screen so I want to copy and paste that here and if I read on application we have we don't have the toolbar now okay so now here what I want to do is I want to set the handler and after two seconds I want to send user to the main activity so we'll create the new instance of handler okay now we'll post we'll call the method called post delayed okay now inside this we'll set the seconds that we need so 2000 for the two seconds and inside this we'll start the new activity so we start activity okay so let's go ahead and run this application and now you can see after two seconds we are redirected to the main activity here okay now let's go ahead and implement this random story button so whenever user click on this random story button I want to load the random story here okay so to do that we'll go to the main activity and just after this here we'll handle the click on our button so if I can use if here and if the random story button is clicked so I can do that by using item dot item id is equals to r dot id dot random and this random is the id of our menu so if i go to the navigation menu here and if i click on random you can see we have id as random okay so the logic behind uh, loading the random story is that we already have the total number of story available to us right so what i want to do is i want to generate the random number between zero to the maximum number of story available to us and that uh, will load that random number position and will send the data to the details activity and will uh, display the details of the particular uh, story so to do that I need this story titles story content and story image okay so what I'll do is I will just make this as public variable so here so I'll create the empty array here okay and for the story content as well 
So here we are modifying this empty string. So actually instead of uh, val here, we need to make it var so that we'll be able to uh, modify the value of this array. So now I will just delete this from here like that. Now I can call this story titles contained image inside this item here. Okay. Inside this navigation item selected listener. So first I want to generate the random number here. Okay. So I'll create the random, random position variable here. So this position is the random number for the uh, story. Okay. So we'll call the random class here dot next int okay so we need to actually import the kotlin dot random dot random uh, class here so now we can use this next int so zero to between the tight uh, size of story title So it's going to generate the number between zero and the size of our story. So let's say our story is having two bell, our story title is having two bell items, then it's going to generate the number between zero and two bells. So each time we call this rand position, it's going to uh, generate the random number. And what we'll do is we will just uh, start the activity with that particular position. So I'm gonna go to item adapter here. I'm gonna copy the same thing, okay and go back to main activity i'm going to paste it here and now we'll make changes so i'll call the application context and here instead of position we'll pass this random position okay and we don't need this so we'll just delete it right now let's run this application to check if everything is working as expected so we have this splash screen we have this story now if i click on random story it should uh, load the random story here okay random story random story click again sometimes it's going to display the same thing twice but yeah it's going to change it very often so yeah that's it guys that's how we implement this story app and i know i have left out few things like a few customization of this text and everything but you can do it yourself it's a simple thing right so i hope that you learned something new with this tutorial series and if you do did don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to show your support and if you get any problems you can uh, look for the source code in the description you can join our facebook group and there you can ask your questions and i'll help you to solve it and i hope to see you in the coming future tutorials on kotlin and java and so on. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.